Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey, how's it going guys? It is Axel and I'm coming back to you with more reactions with an X today. Uh, sorry, getting cut off again. We're doing episode 44 of Battle Mode. I think this is Goku versus Naruto, Dragon Ball versus Naruto. Uh, I'm interested to see how it ends up. I don't know what the stipulations for this fight are. Which Naruto, which Goku, which version, how strong. But uh, I always think it's interesting to see these kinds of fights. I love scaling in different animes, especially because they're not always linear or very comparable in some cases. Um, and then because there can be nuances to fights, you know, um, the, uh, there's just different cases that can be talked about. But as always, man, remember to support Duo Dreamer the Creator of these in the description in the link below. You'll have some way to do that and then check the bumpers on both sides for info on how to support as well and if you wanted to just chat and hang with us you can check out our discord below as well as a link to the patreon if you really wanted to help support and get access to new and early videos uh but yeah let's go ahead and get started on this episode oh. eh, the cursor i gotta take that off of the cap Season finale. I think this will be a good one to add on for me too today. This will be our last video of the day. We usually watch three or four a day when we do these. You know, just like 20 or 30 minutes worth. A nice 30 minute episode, kind of, you know? Go Star Taurus. Great work. I get to recognize the animators' names after 40 episodes, you know? I mean, I get to know that I'm excited for ones. And then to know that there's some new one I haven't maybe seen yet or don't remember. <laughs> Oh wow! Use that voice. That looks like Hokage Naruto, which would be adult Naruto. But he has two arms, so that must just be and Sage Naruto. I, I guess it just it's fine. Maybe there's some of this I don't know. And this is base Goku level, so this is actually kind of feasible for me, because at base level, man, Goku was doing some crazy stuff. You gotta remember, at like seven years old, Goku could dodge lightning. Or like, when he was a kid, when he was training with Roshi, he would like dodge lightning strikes. Or a lightning strike. I can't remember exactly though, it's been a minute. Shadow clones give this a nice, uh level of diversity, as well as weapons, especially if they, they're thought to be able to, ooh, to be able to, you know, do damage to him at, I mean, which they should, considering, you know, bullets shown in Super to kind of do damage when he hasn't trained in his base form, but he's in his base form, so here we go, the transformation. Oh, he went all out right away? Really? The scaling is a bit rough on this already, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, maybe they're saving Kaioken? See, I was expecting regular Super Saiyan and then to get, like, KUB Fox mode. Or QB Tail Chalk, or whatever the, the name they use for it is. I don't remember the official name, but... Where he's fully integrated with Kurama, basically, and has the power of the Sage Jutsu. Although there's also differences between that, like minor differences between just Kurama Cloak mode and then Kurama Cloak and Sage mode. <laughs> Be gone, thoughts! It is once again one of those things where I, uh. Where I wonder if they went too high for that early on the, uh. Blue mode. Cause. Well, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it afterwards. We're watching now and seeing how it plays out.
Alright, so they were saving Kaioken. Which I guess, but I think that's a bit overkill on some of the stuff. Just the scaling of Dragon Ball Z versus Naruto is a little off-putting. Most shows don't scale as high as Dragon Ball Z does. Let's be honest here. Some do. Like, there's there's good ones out there that scale beyond Dragon Ball Z for sure. Like, I know a couple. Um, and characters that could wipe the floor of Goku. And characters who aren't universal that could as well, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure about that, but, you know, that's what the animator decided to do, and that's their, uh, their headcanon. Um, the reason I have a problem with it... Oh, so there's a part two of the... See, then that would be more close, I guess, but once again, I just go over to power scaling where, uh, back in the Saiyan Saga, Vegeta is able to... He says, I can blow up the planet when he's shooting down with the Gala Gun. And Frieza does blow up Namek, so even going into the Namek Saga, you hit this area where people are thinking... And then you get Boo, who I think was wiping out large amounts of, uh, like a solar system? I don't remember. I mean, he could, he killed the whole planet, like, one by one, person by person. Um, granted, I haven't seen a ton of the stuff into the new Boruto stuff. I have seen some of the fights, though, and nothing I've, uh, gotten to has gotten to be... Right, and that's the thing. These are just fun fan battles. Um, but that is my opinion, is I think that the scaling is just a little different. I'll have to go deeper into Boruto, though, now that they've gotten so far in, I finally have some stuff to, like, research on. Because, dude, I don't even start a manga until it's 50 chapters in. Like, I read One Piece, Conan, and freaking uh... Hajime no Ippo, man. I, I don't start a manga until it's a good ways in, so I gotta get more into that one. But I do think that the, the scaling is a bit different on those. That was still a great episode, great animation, great use of the powers. And I'm guessing that this was probably done at a time before Ultra Instinct had kind of been fleshed upon. Or maybe it just hasn't been done because they're now going into the... Uh, it looked like they were going into a Gogeta since there was a part two. As always, support Duo Dreamer and Ghost Artorias by checking out the links in the video. As well as uh, the links below. I would actually only have, I think, Duo Dreamers. But we're going to try to get more links going as we go along. And uh, appreciate everyone watching. I think that these are so fun to do. And I appreciate, as always, the community interaction from people who had suggested this. And then people watching, you know, you guys are the best. So thank you, and I'll catch you again next time. Thanks, everyone, for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.